hello students good afternoon i am audible please sir let me know i am audible anyone can tell me am i audible yes sir but thoda sa volume thoda sa low hai volume low okay yes sir okay sir thodi si volume okay right so what about now Okay, Better. sir. Yeah, very good. so screen is uh, visible is uh, you can see yes sir yes yeah. sir very good so students uh, first of all i want to tell about uh, myself myself uh, dr mukesh kumar kumawat recently i have joined to apj satya university i have 13 year of experience of teaching experience i have completed my uh, phd from uh, dibrugarh university dibrugarh assam master degrees from also from same university department of farm site farm surgical sciences dibrugarh university dibrugarh assam and b farm from department of pharmaceutical sciences molal sukade university udaipur so that is about my brief introduction now i want to to discuss with you about medicinal chemistry my specialization is the pharmaceutical chemistry so i will teach you medicinal chemistry actually i don't know how many topics you have covered in this subject so i have started today with first unit first topic uh, means with antibiotic anyone can tell me how many topics you have covered so i can um, prepare uh, from next class accordingly sir we have covered uh, all these three topics plus uh, antiviral and anti tb okay means uh, anti uh, you, you have completed all antibiotics uh, yes sir almost okay antibiotic and antiviral uh, is covered anti uh, other TB. thing is anti tb okay anti yes sir okay, okay. and uh, so that's it okay okay so that's good we will uh, we will start from next class apart from uh, antibiotics anti tb and antiviral any other topics that is remaining in medicine chemistry that we will discuss from next class onward so students so today i am going to discuss again the topic uh, that is antibiotics it's uh, it's a simple thing because i have started the first topic because i don't know how many topic i have told you previously so i want to uh, discuss with you about uh, important aspects of uh, medicinal chemistry that is important because you have 
going through about antibiotics antiviral and anti tubercular drug as well so basic chemistry or basic medical chemistry behind these topics is very much important and uh, that i want to discuss with you that uh, we can uh, discuss them say for example that today we are discussing about uh, antibiotics so first point is here the meaning of the antibiotics that is uh, coming from this uh, point then next topic will come the classifications of the antibiotic as per the chemistry second thing will come chemistry of the uh, of different class of antibiotics along with the sar metabolism as well as application uses so and in antibiotic section i hope you have covered these topics in different types of antibiotics so before starting my lecture i want to know i want to ask some questions from uh you can say from your side from uh, to you if you can answer me that what is the difference between antibiotics and antibacterials anyone can reply me what is the difference between antibiotics and antibacterials sir antibiotics are uh, usually potent and uh, they are usually ingested uh, uh, but uh, antibacterial we usually apply it on skin or for external purpose only and they are not that potent it's okay but i think it's not correct answer anyone can give me sir antibacterials are which kill bacteria Okay. and antibiotics which kill large group of microorganism like bacteria fungi parasite right mm, okay but it's not again it's not correct you are you are touching the my uh, we can say answer but not correct exactly anyone can tell me other part other any other things that if you know okay it's good very good thank you what is the basic difference you know one sentence can explain you that all antibiotics may be an antibacterial but all antibacterial may not be antibiotics what do you mean by this it means that all antibiotics can be used as antibacterial but antibacterial agents it's not necessary that all antibacterial agents will be antibiotic it means antibacterials are agents which can kill bacteria which can inhibit the growth of the bacteria so antibacterial in antibacterial category you can say antibacterial is the activity based broad broad category in which antibiotic definitely will come under the antibacterials but Excuse what are me, the sir. yeah sir some students are in waiting room yeah please please please, please oh please please thank you very much so another thing that what i am discussing with you that what is the definitions of antibiotic that is important so listen me students antibiotics are substance which can be obtained from microorganism can be used to inhibit and the growth and to kill the microorganism in minimum concentration there are the three points one is antibiotics should obtain from microbes or microorganism should use to kill or inhibit the microorganism and last point should be in the minimum concentration students if any chemical substance follow these three top three points three conditions then 
the substance will come which will called as antibiotics otherwise substance will not be antibiotic so you know bacteria is also microbes so anti you can say antibiotics definitely will be antibacterial because they can kill the bacteria microbes but all antibiotics will not be antibacterial sorry all antibacterial will not be antibiotic why because of the many antibiotics are there which is which uh, which is not antibiotic but they are antibacterial because they are not obtained from microbes they may be obtained from the synthetic origins say for example the sulfonamides students i think you heard about the sulfonamides the sulfonamides are the uh, antibacterials which have sulfonamide groups as a structural as a pharmacophore in their structure they are called as sulfonamides so the sulfonamides previously the sulfonamides was considered as antibiotic but nowadays sulfonamide is not considered as antibiotic because of sulfonamide is only the antibacterial so that is the point that all antibiotics will be antibacterial but all antibacterial or antifungal or antimicrobial will not be antibiotics students got the my point it is clear to you all now or not anyone can tell me first i am waiting for your reply yes sir yeah clear. very good so now we are discussing here look at here the definitions of anti micro uh, antibiotics that i have cleared with you that substance can be obtained from microbes and can be used to inhibit you can say uh microbes in minimum concentrations another the antibacterial agents antibacterial agents may be the synthetic or natural origin and can be used to inhibit the microbes so only the little bit difference is that antimicrobial agents may be you can say uh basically you can say they may be antibacterial but it's not that all antibiotics may be anti uh, i can say uh, bacterials so now students next part that uh, about the brief history of the antibiotics and resistance as you know the antibiotics they have been discovered in 19th century and uh, till now we have discovered number of the antibiotics is very short uh, uh, history over here i'm not going to discuss with you about the history of the antibiotics because uh, you know alexander fleming was uh, the first man who have discovered the penicillin from penicillin notatum and waxman give the name of the anti uh, can say penicillin then uh, you can say structure of the penicillin was discovered and some resistant penicillin was uh, developed similarly other antibiotics that is coming on and nowadays you know we are having that present number of the antibiotics in the market and also number of the antibiotics get increasing accordingly the resistance also get increased that's why day by day we also need the requirement of the antibiotics that we required next similarly the history history of antibiotics you know similarly the previously we don't have the antibiotics then uh, uh, you know persons who are, uh, you can say patients they are using some uh, remedial uh, you can say folk medicines like uh, uh, you can say some like boiling of some oils like chalmogra oils for uh, can say for leprosy like uh, cinchona bark for uh, fever means you can say for uh, malaria then uh, you can say for illich the scientist coming and he have discovered the number of uh, you can say chemotherapeutic agents and terms chemotherapy is given then a uh, new you can say sulfonamide error we come 
and the prontosil was become the active so it's a, just a history we are not going in the details similarly uh, this again this part of the history the antibiasis phenomena that is given by the pasteur antibiasis name you can say antibiasis that is given by the pasteur in 19, in 1877 so you can say alexander fleming what discovered the penicillin from penicillin notatum in 2000 in 1929 then uh, clinical use of the penicillin was uh, given by the chain and floris in 1941 and waxman give the name of you can say penicillin as well as you can say discovered the streptomycin so it's a uh, i'm not going in detail about history important thing is here the, about the classification so classification antibiotic can be by the different uh, uh, you can say um, basis chemical structure basis chem or you can say mechanism uh, basis and uh, as well as you can say type of organism in which they are effective active or spectrum of activity and uh, you can say uh, uh, type of action as well as the sources so different uh, you can say different types of classifications of antibiotics there and uh, in this one by one we are discussing chemical structure that uh, on the basis of the chemical structure we can classify the antibiotics in beta lactam antibiotics tetracyclines nitrobenzene derivative it is a uh, clomphenicol aminoglycosides streptomycin gentamicin neomycin macrolide antibiotics lincomycin antibiotics polypeptide antibiotics glycopeptide what are the difference that these antibiotics they are differ in their structural basis because beta lactam antibiotic having the beta lactam ring the four member beta lactam ring and also that is fused with the other five member uh, you can say thiazina uh, uh, thiazolin nucleus and the dihydrothiazina nucleus in the cephalosporin so pinum nucleus or cefum nucleus and also monobactam is only the without you can say any fusion of the ring only beta lactam ring so these the three class we had i think you have discussed previously i have this important class of the antibiotics is beta lactam tetracycline the four cyclic rings are fused together tetracycline nucleus importantly tetracycline oxa tetracycline doxycycline and tetracycline is the broad spectrum antibiotic nitrobenzene derivatives like uh, clomphenicol is again nitro group containing nitrobenzene group containing uh, clomphenicol and it is used the broad spectrum students there is a two terms broad spectrum and narrow spectrum what do you mean by this broad spectrum antibiotics means antibiotics which can be used for uh, uh, not only the bacteria to kill the bacteria but also to killing uh, you can say uh, other than uh, bacteria you can say like uh, uh, fungi also we can use uh, other other things like a uh, uh, can say fungi bacteria microbacterials so these are the various things that we can we can use antibiotics other things like uh, i can say uh, other cephalosporins and all they again they are the same things now class chemical classifications after the chemical classifications you can say another class of the uh, can say uh, basis of the uh, classification of uh, my, you can say antibiotics is mechanism of action inhibitions of cell wall synthesis like penicillin cephalosporin vancomycin you know beta lactam antibiotics students they are uh, inhibiting the cell wall synthesis bacterial cell wall synthesis you know bacterial cell wall is made up with the peptidoglycan layer and the peptidoglycan layer is uh, can maybe synthesized from muramic acid part as well as the d alanine amino acid part and uh, uh, you can say transpeptidase enzyme is play important role in formation of peptidoglycan layer so beta lactam antibiotics inhibit the trans transpeptidase enzyme and you can say that's why they are called as bacterial cidal because they can kill the bacteria so the bacterial cidal and uh, you can say causes the leakage from the uh, uh, you can say cell membrane. You can say cell membrane. 
like uh, can say polypeptides polyins like amphotericin b they can inhibit the cell wall cell membrane synthesis you can say that can break up the cell membrane in so accordingly the inhibition of protein synthesis like tetracycline clomphenicol macrolide antibiotic like erythromycin clindamycin and lastly the causing the misleading of the M mrna proof reading or you can say permeability or you can say pro you can say protein synthesis you can say proof reading because basically like aminoglycoside streptomycin and gentamicin so this is the mechanism base of the uh, classifications some other part you can say inhibit the dna gyrase enzyme like fluoroquinolones inhibitions of dna functions like uh, uh, rifamycins rifamcin you can say and in, uh, interfere with the dna synthesis like acyclovir you can say judobutin their antiviral agents antiviral and similarly interfere with the intermediate metabolite like sulfonamide i have told you that number of the antibiotic substance are the antibacterial not antibiotics but ethambutol is the antibiotic here so these are classifications based on the structure another the uh, classification based on action you can say where they are used antibacterial antifungal they are can say classifications of where they, they can be used now spectrum activity based on the spectrum activity we can classify the antibiotics in narrow spectrum and broad spectrum i have told you the term narrow spectrum means antibiotic which can be used for one class of bacteria or you can say only the some type some species of the bacteria and fungi and all like penicillin g is only used for uh only this uh, some class of the you can say penicillin uh, bacteria like gram positive bacteria streptomycin erythromycin they are also they are the narrow spectrum antibiotics broad spectrum antibiotic like tetracycline clomphenicol i have told you previously because they can be used for gram negative inhibition of gram negative gram positive some microbacteria and as well so students of uh, anyone can re can uh, reply me i am audible and everything is okay you are yes. you are understandable yeah very yeah. good yo very nice very nice so uh, i think i have classified the anti uh, antibiotics and this is for your in you can say revision point of view now the antibiotics targets where the antibiotics may you can say basically uh, act like cell wall synthesis penicillin cephalosporin vancomycin they inhibit the cell wall synthesis of the bacteria this is the bacteria cell wall and you know this is the genetic material rna or dna basically you got in say some antibiotics that inhibit the cell membrane that we had discussed previously it's it's in a chart it's say in tape you can say a, 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 a uh, you can say a, a, a diagrammatic way where we are representing the things okay that we had discussed uh you know some some antibiotic that inhibit uh, cell uh, protein synthesis like tetracycline erythromycin clomphenicol streptomycin okay some inhibitions of metabolite like sulfonamides inhibition of the paba similarly uh, re, re, can say rifamcin rna you can say uh, transcription that is rifamcin can be inhibit dna dependent rna polymerase enzyme rifamcin quinolones flow quinolones like uh, i can say similarly uh, uh, can say uh, dna dependent rna polymerase enzyme is inhibited by the flow quinolones and cell wall synthesis by dna that we had discussed now students this is the gram positive and gram negative bacteria what i before discussing the things i want to ask some questions from uh, from you that uh, anybody can tell me what are the difference between the gram positive and gram negative bacteria any one two or two differences one or two differences anyone can tell me sir so major difference is the gram positive has thicker peptidoglycan layer while the gram negative has very thin peptidoglycan layer very nice very good very good another thing uh, that uh, what about the lipid lipid layer means which which type of bacteria having the uh, you can say large lipidal so part gram, sir gram negative have a uh, external lipid yeah. layer above Very the peptidoglycan nice. but uh, yes. gram positive yes. doesn't have that yes yes that's why the gram negative having the uh, gram negative bacteria have the more uh, you can say um, uh, antibiotic resistant because of it having the uh, you can say more lipidal part okay so it's very nice it's your fundamental circular i think it's very good 
Uh, so I have uh, show a picture in the screen. You can say the gram negative bacteria is thicker one, but gram negative is the thinner one. Cell wall is the gram negative thinner, but more resistant because of it contain the more lipidal parts. Okay, because you know the uh, peptidoglycan layers both have the peptidoglycan layers, but uh, uh, in can say gram negative layer, the, the protein part is more gram positive. Gram you can say protein part is more, and in gram negative, then you can say lipidal part is more. Okay, so that is the best we can say main difference in cell wall of gram negative and gram positive. This is the cell wall uh, that I have discussed with you in the diagrammatic way. Again, is protein outer layer, peptidic ligand layer, and there is a pl plas uh, cytoplasmic membrane. So these are the you can say it's good. You know, you know about the cell cell wall is very good. The structure of the peptidic you can say peptidic ligand layer that is I have told you that uh, it's made up with the Uh, muramic acid layer means lipidal part and uh, can say proteinous part dialanine part okay and uh, uh, number of the peptidic ligands you can say nag or na nam both muramic acid n acetyl muramic acid and glucosamic you can say n acetyl glucosamine both part is fused together and form a peptidic ligand unit and uh, this is a uh, arrangement that is takes place in bacteria Transpeptidase enzymes, you know, transpeptidase also the enzymes that can be uh, break down the uh, peptide chain or peptide linkage. That is the transpeptidase. Similarly, uh, in you know peptidic ligand layer, uh, the proteins or I can say amino acids fuse together and form the protein. So transpeptidase enzyme is uh, important. It plays a very important role in uh, I can say uh, making a uh, layer basically. So. it is important that uh, uh, some uh, you can say uh, beta lactam antibiotics that inhibit the transpeptidase enzyme as well this is the mechanism of the transpeptidations where why, how it is takes place that uh, uh, nam or nag fuse together and uh, form a you can say trans you can say uh, peptidoglycan layer and this transpeptidase enzyme play important role in formation of peptidoglycan And penicillin inhibit or beta lactam antibiotics inhibit this transpeptidase. That is the mechanism actions of penicillin. Okay, so this is the mechanism where how it is act normally or by the inhibitions of the penicillin. In the normal way, you can say transpeptidation enzyme form a peptidic ligand layer very easily. And in case in place of D-alanine, this becomes a similar structure of the beta lactam ring. In place of D-alanine, the beta lactam ring get fused. and as you can say competitive blocking competitive blocking of transpeptidations by the pep, uh, penicillin or cyclosporins or beta lactam antibiotics so the uh, in in place of dialanine these uh, beta lactam antibiotics fuse uh, and form false you can say formation of peptide glycan layer or uh, cell wall bacterial cell wall the students are uh, the beta lactam antibiotics i have told you that beta lactam having the beta lactam rings and uh, Like penicillin and cyclosporine, they inhibit the cell wall synthesis. This is the uh, basically the beta lactam ring. There is a, a beta lactam or HD don nucleus, and it having it has three types of uh, three class of the beta lactam antibiotics. One is monobactam, which contain this only the beta lactam ring. One is the uh, penicillin, which contain the uh, 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 thiazinan cell. We can say thiazoline nucleus with uh, fused with the uh, beta lactam ring. that is pinum nucleus and uh, that is uh, cyclosporin contain dihydrothiazinan nucleus fused with the beta lactam ring so these three types of beta lactam ring monobactam penicillins and cyclosporins they are important class of beta lactam antibiotics so that we had discussed the classifications now these are the structures of uh, beta can say beta lactam structures penicillins cyclosporin as well as uh monobactam that is azeotrenum azeotrenum that is monobactam only the uh, can say beta lactam ring is there but no any other fused ring is is with so azeotrenum is the examples of monobactam penicillin that i have discussed with you previously that uh, notatum and chrysogenum from the notatum and penicillin nitrogen chrysogenum it can be obtained and the thiazolidine nucleus fused with the beta lactam ring so these are the classifications of the can say penicillins natural class penicillin penicillin g penicillin v semi synthetic methicillin and acid resistant you can say 
uh, that is uh, penicillin V and methicillin as well as uh, extended pen spectrum penicillin, I, amoxicillin, ampicillin, carbinicillin, piperacillin. So this is the classification, structure-based classification. You know, uh, penicillin nucleus having three, uh, you can say, chiral carbons. So that's why three multi keep three to powers two. You can say nine. Nine will be there. You can say isomer, stereo isomer will be there. You can say for uh, penicillin. And the natural penicillin is a pen six amino penicillin acid. Six APA is the natural penicillin. Penicillin benzyl penicillin, pen penicillin V or penicillin G. They are synthetic penicillins. Similarly, the semi-synthetic one, methicillin, nephacillin, and semi-synthetic uh, res penicillin resistant uh, penicillin, you can say uh, oxycillin, cloxacillin, dicloxacillin. Semi-synthetic uh, penicillin resistant carboxylic the carboxylic acid is there additionally. That is the important is make uh, the broad spectrum. But thing is that uh, it's penicillin sensitive, but penicillin sensitive semi-synthetic derivative broad spectrum orally active. The carboxylic is the penis parenterally active, but ampicillin or amoxicillin is the you can say parenterally active. The students, ampicillin is now is not used because of it have the diarrheal side effect. Amoxicillin is used because of it does not have any types of side effect along with the beta lactamase inhibitor like salbactam and you can say uh, or uh, can say clavulinate acids, clavulinate. So amox clav, amox clav is the brand name that is used uh, importantly nowadays. So this is the mechanism of uh, beta lactam. Uh, you can say drugs that I have explained you previously that uh, this you can say uh, serine hydroxyserine part is attack on the beta lactam nucleus and beta lactam nucleus that is open here to form a tetrahedral nucleus and it will be open and uh, uh, now the cross linking action that is in uh, protein binding pro the penicillin binding protein where it covalently they will be bind so this is the mechanism action and similarly what happened the false in inhibitions of the cell wall that is takes place natural penicillins so penicillin v that i have told you that what are different the amo the, the amoxy can say phenoxy group is there in the penicillin students i want to give one message to you uh, because i am using uh, a free zoom so maybe that uh, it will be uh, sign out so please uh, uh, 40 minutes after 40 minutes will be sign out please again you join rejoin again because our one hour is our lecture time so please it's uh, cooperate me because i am using the free one uh, so the amoxy um, you can say phenoxy methyl penicillin or penicillin v that is here and amino penicillin this is the ampicillin amoxicillin i have told you that amino group is additionally over here and it's make a broad spectrum to the uh, penicillin this is the ampicillin I have told you this ampicillin and amoxicillin. What are the difference? Um, there is a hydroxyl group in amoxicillin. Amoxicillin is extra. It is not there. And but side effect of ampicillin is it gives the, the severe diarrhea. Though it's not generally not used. But in combination with the, the penicillin can be used as with the salbactam because salbactam is the uh, beta lactamase inhibitor. So this is the amoxicillin. Amoxicillin can be given in combination with the amoxicillin and clavulinic acid. It's a broad spectrum, orally as well as the parenterally effective. You can say. And it's beta lactamase resistant because the clavulinic acid is is used as a uh, beta lactamase inhibitor and can be used both in uh, in case of co-administered. So anti uh, staphylococcus penicillins. This is uh, you can say any if you are putting this uh, the round circle here putting is if putting any bulky group then it will the penicillin become the resistance toward the staphylococcus. That is the important part aspects of the penicillin. Like methicillin, it's methicillin uh, containing this, you can say, methoxid. 2,6-dimethoxyphenyl group over here. So what happened? It's make more resistant towards Staphylococcus aureus. So Staphylococcus aureus, you can say methicillin only than example of the penicillin that is, uh, you can say, resistant towards methicillin, the, um, you can say, uh, Staphylococcus aureus. Oxacillin and Cloxacillin, nephacillin, they all are, you can say, resistant one and cloxacillin. So these are uh, number of uh, the, the anti pseudomonas, you can say penicillins, like piperacillin is used for anti pseudomonas. And in piperacillin, there is, a, you can say, piperine nucleus is there, dionucleus, and it makes more resistance. Carboxylin, similarly, uh, look at a carboxylic acid group over here in the carboxylin, and it is the pseudomonas resistant. Ticarencillin also the same class of the antibiotics. 
lastly students i am discussing with you the ser of the penicillin you know the beta lactam ring is essential for activity but in the uh, uh, thiazina nucleus the sulfur is not essential if the substitution is takes place in the hydrogen then what i can say uh, activity will decrease only the thing is that the alpha hydrogen is required for the activity on the beta lactam ring similarly that are the acyl amidocytes in the electron withdrawing group we are putting here then activity will increase because of the beta lactam ring will not be open open if we are increasing the r the electron withdrawing group then what happen the beta lactam ring will not be open that is important things okay so the five member thiazolin ring is uh, important and uh, if it is would be the saturated then the activity will be there and the carboxylic acid uh, basically uh, it increase its uh, you can say duration of action we can say basically in pharmacokinetic properties so these are the important uh, points of the sar that is for uh, penicillin that required important thing is beta lactam ring is important and the electron withdrawing group at position number 6 as amino group amino group there r would be the electron withdrawing group similarly at position number 2 the acid group is required and uh, dimethyl group is also required in thiazolin ring so these these are the some important aspects that is important for you can say uh, penicillin so students that's all for today about the penicillin anything else you want to ask please let me ask students can me can you ask me any question you can ask please it's open to you all sir this amino acid side chain part sir please explain it again amino side chain okay sir. yes sir amino side chain uh, uh, containing you can say uh, penicillin that is amoxicillin or ampicillin and what is the important things in this that am amoxicillin uh, i can say ampicillin and amoxicillin both are broad spectrum antibiotics but they are acid sensitive because as well as uh, i can say uh, uh, penicillin sensitive because uh, in presence of acid they will be destroyed okay look at here i am discussing you i am showing you the structure before first can see yes this is yes this is the, there is the amoxicillin amoxicillin it's contain the amino group at here amoxy we can say uh, benzyl group or can say amino benzyl group or you can say uh, uh, para hydroxy amino benzyl group it is there so para hydroxy amino benzyl group the hydroxyl groups make it uh, uh, you can say orally active and what happen the diarrhea side effect will not be there because uh, uh, the ampicillin does not have hydroxyl groups and it have the diarrhea side effect so that's why it, what happen by putting this amino group as well as the phenyl group uh, this penicillin become uh, more broad spectrum means it will be effective against gram negative because uh, the amino group due to the presence of amino group it can penetrate into the uh, gram negative bacteria that's why it can inhibit the gram negative cell wall of the gram negative as well so that is the what only point that amino group uh, can make uh, broad spectrum for uh, pen, to the penicillin i can say antibiotic it is clear yes sir anyone anyone have any doubt students you can suggest me any any updation any anything you required in teaching methodology what you know what you want in online mode basically it's okay you are understandable or anything update any update you want anyone please be, be without hesitation please let me know because it's very good it's, it's very good that we have good interactions sir it's okay sir it's okay sir, everyone okay. everyone it's okay it's okay with me and with my tg methodology and everything yes. okay so next class we will discuss uh, Uh, other topics apart from antibiotics and uh, uh, your you can say antiviral and anti tb we will discuss some other topics
okay so we will meet in accordingly according to the scheduled time table okay in next class thank you thank you for thank you very much for today's class thank you sir thank you thank you sir Dispatch anyone have any? Dispatch anyone have any? Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, dispatch anyone have any screenshot of the attendance sheet? Attendance? You have? Oh, oh no. Can you take now? Can you send me? Okay, sir. Sir, hold on. Yeah. Sir, be there. Yeah, everyone are there because I am unable to take a screenshot. I have take some pictures, but if anyone can do, sir, I send it you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, please me WhatsApp me. Thank you very much. Thanks. Can we leave, sir? Yeah, yeah. Everyone can leave now. Thank you.